看，乔晶晶，你说她现在如果想起我们，会不会觉得很可笑？当年班级里成绩最好的，现在却远远赶不上她了。不会。He knew Jingjing's kindness well and understood her character. After spending these few days together, he knew that despite being a celebrity, Jingjing never acted like a big star and didn't have any airs. When he heard Xiaoqing disparaging Jingjing, without hesitation, he directly refuted her claims. Xiaoqing was Yutu's girlfriend during their university days, and they were considered a couple by everyone at that time. However, things changed when Yutu insisted on pursuing a career in aerospace research. Their different aspirations eventually led to their breakup. Xiaoqing's recent visit to Shanghai. Was actually due to a business trip to Hangzhou, but she intentionally took a detour to come to Shanghai. It was from their mutual friends that she learned about Yu Tu's decision to quit the Aerospace Research Institute. Xia Qing wanted to understand the reason behind Yu Tu's choice. She couldn't understand why he was willing to leave the place. He once insisted on going, even to the extent of breaking up with her for it. She felt deeply disappointed because Xia Qing felt that her place in Yu Tu's heart was now dispensable. Yu Tu clearly didn't want to provide too much explanation on this matter with Xia Qing. So he deftly changed the topic. Xia Qing inquired about Yu Tu's future plans, and she learned that he had received a job offer from a Beijing investment bank. Coincidentally, the company was located in the same building where she worked. Xia Qing thought she had a chance to reconnect with Yu Tu, hoping he would go to Beijing for his career, so she could offer him some free advice and consultation in his field. However, Yu Tu revealed that he had already declined the offer. Upon hearing this, Xia Qing didn't say much, but her tightly clenched hands gave away her feelings. It was evident that she still had feelings for you two in her heart. Come, Xiao Jingjing. You say he now, if he thinks about us, he will feel very ridiculous. Last year, the best grade in the class, now he can't catch up with her. Why is that? After their conversation. Yu Tu thought about taking Xia Qing to the subway station, but Xia Qing, who had changed over the years, mentioned that she hadn't taken the subway in a long time. This put Yu Tu in an awkward position, as they were about to part ways. Xia Qing asked Yu Tu why he had been unwilling to respond, even though he clearly knew her intentions. You mean you know my intention, right? Yes. 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 感情什么的，是不是渺小如灰尘，根本不值得一提。你不用讽刺我吧？这不是讽刺，是感悟。你不该耽误别人的。But haven't you two been broken up for so many years? And aren't you the one who has been unable to move on? After seeing Xia Qing off, you two returned to Jingjing's place. Jingjing observed his cold expression and tried to read his emotions, wondering how their conversation went. In less than an hour, it seemed that things progressed too smoothly, or they ended up parting ways immediately. After starting the conversation, Jingjing made this assumption based on Yu Tu's tone when he spoke that they ended up unhappily. He didn't explain much to her, but it has to be said that Yu Tu is quite competent as a coach. As soon as he entered the room, he asked Jingjing if she had slacked off during his absence, saying that Yu Tu checked Jingjing's game record, and he watched her game record, and felt pleased. With her progress and determination, whatever, he was glad that his efforts in improving her gaming skills over the past few days had paid off. Soon after, Jai Liang pulled Jingjing to play a game. Unaware of the situation between Yu Tu and Jingjing, he had a smug look on his FAC. E and jokingly asked if Jingjing should consider him as her mentor. What? Because your Yu Tu Master is already dead. Quite a name. 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 他最近早出晚归的，我都不知道干嘛。后来我听史莱姆包说，他好像有情况，但是我不能透露啊。意思就是说，你以后得跟我混了。他没时间带你玩了。Jingjing continued to spill the tea with a smug expression on her face, just as Jingjing and Jai Liang were engrossed in their conversation. Yu Tu walked over and directly muted Jingjing's voice chat. This was the first time Yu Tu had been so close to Jingjing, catching her off guard and causing her heart to beat faster. It turned out that the person she had liked at first sight, no matter how much time had passed, still made her heart flutter. As the doorbell rang, the moment was interrupted. Jingjing thought it was Little Zhu coming to deliver dinner. 
But to her surprise, when you two opened the door, it was her ex-boyfriend, the President Sue. A big shot in the finance industry. The President Sue was also taken aback to see you two. This handsome guy, opening the door. Seeing Jingjing and you two. The President Sue feeling very awkward. He decided to leave. Later, when Little Ju came to deliver the meal, Jingjing asked him to change the door password. Clearly, she wasn't welcoming her ex-boyfriend's visit. During the meal, Jingjing took the initiative to bring up her past relationship with the President Su. Explaining that they had been dating for nearly half a year. The President Su suddenly asked Jingjing to quit the entertainment industry. Citing the reason that his family didn't like him dating someone. From the entertainment circle. Without hesitation. Jingjing broke up with him on the spot. And they went their separate ways. After that, Jingjing took the initiative to ask Yu Tu. About his breakup with Xia Qing. Yu Tu explained that. Their breakup was partly due to Xia Qing leaving Beijing after graduation which led to a long-distance relationship and eventual separation. Additionally, when he chose his career path, his parents disagreed. At that time, he thought he could balance both his career and the relationship. But in retrospect, he realized it might have been a bit naive and reckless.